welcome back. Lately, we have been hearing a lot of talk about IVF in Canada. There's been some new information about it, but some moms still don't even, or maybe moms to be, or people wanting to be a mom, don't even know that this is an option. And it's a great option. And it's a great option. So we have sourced Dr. Zhang from the New Hope Fertility Clinic to talk to us about IVF. Thank you for being here with us today. Good afternoon. Hi. So, I mean, let's start off right off the bat with what is IVF for some people who might not even know that this is an option out there. IVF standing for in vitro fertilization practically means to take the egg sperm out, let them to meet each other in the petrol dish. Once they become embryos, put back into the uterine cavity. So IVF standing for get a sperm egg together outside the female's body. That means IVF. When do you find that, that women, you know, go to this as an option for themselves? That's actually an interesting question. Originally, the idea to do IVF, to put an expert together outside a lady's body and then put an embryo back inside a lady's body was in 1978. The only indication to do that is really to treat the patient who has a tubal factors, meaning that their sperm and egg will not have any chance in natural way to meet each other in the tubes. Okay. So this is the only group of patients will perform IVF. Today, IVF has a wild applications for any kind of fertility treatment and also for the egg freezing and also for the genetic screen tests. So what is natural IVF? Natural IVF is actually how the IVF started uh, in 1978. So by name, natural means a lady does not take any fertility drugs and just wait for timing of ovulation and uh, catch this egg by needles to take this naturally ovulated egg to perform in vitro fertilization. So this is how in vitro fertilization start, and this is a safe and a kind of efficient procedure for certain patients. So this is eliminating, like you're not gonna be taking hormones or anything like that. It's literally just what nature is naturally intended and you're catching those eggs. Correct. It's an absolutely 100% organic process of IVF. That's really, really cool. I didn't even know that that, I, I always thought that IVF meant you had to take hormones or inject yeah. yourself with something. That's a very good uh, point. Even as of today, a uh, majority of us still believe you need many hormones to many, make many eggs to give a better chance to get pregnant. But in reality, this is not the case. And um, particularly for three groups of the patient, A, they are very young, they generally make good quality eggs, or they are very old, they really don't make more than one good egg. And this group of patients, probably natural cycle is the best cycle now, for them. Now, what about mini IVF? I read about that and I'm not quite sure I understand what that concept is. Mini IVF is a, a protocol which stay right in between the natural cycle IVF and a conventional IVF, meaning that they do take some drugs, but they take much less than the conventional IVF. So they take the advantage of both cycle. Natural cycle only making one egg. So if the lady wants to freeze egg, Let's say they have a, some kind of cancer and are ready for chemotherapy. They don't have many, many. T they don't have much time left to do egg retrievals, so they will get some stimulation. But they are not like a conventional IVF. You get a nine to fourteen days of a heavy daily injection, which causes lots of side effects. So minimal stimulation IVF is an intermediate protocol between complete natural cycle IVF and the so-called conventional IVF, which is taking top guns medicines. Now, speaking of eggs, in terms of egg freezing, I think a lot of women are perhaps waiting longer to have babies nowadays. Like, at what point does somebody make that decision? I think any lady, once they reach their early 30s, they need to think about it if they want to freeze their eggs mm -hmm. because the egg quality and the quantity start to decrease dramatically after the age of 35. So any lady, once they reach their early 30s, and if they do not see themselves in the very near future to have a family, then if they have access to egg freezing, and I think they all should free their eggs for future fertility or for rescheduling of motherhood or extending their fertility for the future. Because it's, it's, all, it's a couple, right? It could be that the quality of the egg goes down or also the amount of eggs you release could go down. Is that correct? It's correct, both. The quality and the quantity, both, great, both 
going down dramatically after the age of 35. So uh, when I think of egg freezing, I think you're going in, you're taking the eggs, and it's the, age, the, the egg at that age. So if I'm 30, it's my 30-year-old egg, correct, right? That's right. Your age will be frozen at the time when the egg is frozen. And so what, what is that process to doing the egg freezing? Well, the process is actually very similar as a lady going through in vitro fertilization. You will come make a third evaluation by a fertility expert to evaluate your fertility status, which each lady different in their peer group. Then we in our center will come out a, a specific protocol which is tailored to each individual lady. It could be heavy dress, could be less heavy, could be even natural stack. We found the most optimum protocol for the egg freezing for the lady. Then they're going through the process just like they are going through the in vitro fertilization. The only difference is that once the egg come out for the egg freezing lady, you freeze the eggs for the in vitro fertilization, then you will get the egg fertilized by sperm, making embryos, then you're ready to transfer back in a few days. I liked what you said about rescheduling motherhood. Is this becoming more mainstream that women are choosing to freeze their eggs? Yes, as a matter of fact, even the rescheduling motherhood was a name chosen by one of our patients. She came to freeze that and not patient ladies. She came to freeze at, at, at the age of 23. She said, oh. I want to reschedule my motherhood. And I love this word. I just stole, and I just stole this language from her. And she's 23. I was, now of course, we have more and more lady come to freeze at the age of 23 and 30. And then you said, well, Dr. Sam, you just said anybody after 30 should freeze that. Why this lady come at age of 23? Well, if you already knew that you were not gonna baby for a long time to come, then the young girl is better, 23 eggs are 10 times better than 30 years old. So she's a 23, just a study MBA course, and she's very I'm sure she realized after she finished all the studies, she'll be 35 to start the work. So she okay. knew she's gonna free that. They said, why should I wait until 30? I want to do it until 23. So that's why she came free that 23. And that's actually the words I learned from her. That's I great. loved it. And then I spread these words around the world, actually, not around the New York City. It's called the uh, rescheduling of motherhood. So we've heard that you have some success and some pioneered achievements yourself. And we wanted to learn a little bit about that. Yeah, we are one of the three centers studying freeze eggs in the United States way back to 2004. And I learned the technique personally from our a uh, long-term collaborator and a personal friend, Dr. Masa Kuwayama, and he spent 10 years to perfect this egg freezing technique in Japan and Denmark. When I first heard his results in 2001, I just could not believe his results until I personally see the results of the process in Tokyo, Japan. Then I believe the process, and we brought this technique to the United States, and as I said, we are one of the three IVF center studying freeze eggs from 2004. More precise, from October 2004, we started freeze eggs in the United States. That's so great. Well, I think, again, this is applicable to a lot of our friends out there, a lot of our moms out there that are facing things like, you know, realizing that they can't get pregnant or realizing that maybe, like what you had said, they're going to put off motherhood for a little bit longer. For a career. Women have bigger yeah. careers and are trying to balance a lot of things. Yeah, we have a lot of friends that are entrepreneurs and, and you know, so it makes sense to do this egg freezing process. Is absolutely, there... absolutely. That can also, during your dating process, that will empower you when you're sitting at the dating table and the dinner table with some guys. Right, you're not you know, gonna rush it. it. That's right, now they know, you see, now, again, every word I use, it's not my invention. Even the word said, the freezing egg can empower me. That was also from my lady patients, you know. She said she's a 36, every time she's dating some guys, she feel like, you know, she's in a rush and she's the inferior in terms of in competition in her career, even the relationship, because the guys seem standing there have no clue about the time related to decrease of fertility. And she feel like in everything in her college, in her study, in everything, she's as compatible as a guy. But once sit down and start talking about making babies, they, she feel like suddenly she lost the power. She just cannot compete with this guy. I'm not saying we, we need to compete, but then she said, once I frozen my ex, I know my ex in the, Decrenagin tanks me, and uh, she feel like all of a sudden I feel like I empowered myself yeah. in the, for the career development and even in the relationship development. So I think there's lots of positive things from the from you know from the ladies. I think the egg freezing will change the every aspect of our social life, and I call this like a 
you, you go to the gym and you work out, it's in the end, I think the egg freedom will have some kind of memberships. It's become part of the routine, just like you do your pedicure, medicure, and you get your egg frozen. I'm, I'm really thinking in five, 10 years, this will be part of like, uh, uh, you know, routine. And I think this is really not such a big deal. You just had a froze. Just freeze a couple of eggs, then you are care. I, no, it's not a carefree. It's not hundred percent guaranteed. But at least you have a piece of hope, yeah, and no. that's what I look at. Right. Right. Absolutely. This is amazing information. We thank you so much for being with us here today. And for more information or to share this with somebody you know this might be affecting, Absolutely. you can go to the New Hope Fertility Center on Facebook and learn more there about the services that they offer. Thank you so much again, Dr. Dr. Zane. And also, yeah, also can look at my favorite blog. I think that was one of the best blog, Dr. Zane's blog, and have lots of information about egg freezing, everything. If any lady can not fall asleep in the evening, check out Dr. Zhang's blog. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Zhang's blog. Okay, we will put okay, that in out. Canada when you have it snow, so maybe yeah, the Yeah, you need to see something good to remind you. Yeah. Or a glass of sherry and eat the Dr. Zhang's blog. There you go. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. And thank take care. you. And stay tuned. We'll be back with more.